Hello friend, Nathan here, and this little metronome right here with all of its imperfections and signs of wear and tear and dirt and grime used to be my favorite practice tool. This, uh, this little beauty and I, we've been through a lot together. We met back in college, shared many a late night, just the two of us. But uh, if I'm being honest, she's just not meeting my needs anymore. And frankly, I think I've outgrown her. Now, don't get me wrong. Any metronome is a powerful practice tool, whether it's a physical metronome device, an app on your phone, or literally even just the built-in Google metronome, every guitarist needs to spend time practicing with a metronome. We use metronomes to help us develop a precise and consistent sense of rhythm, to gradually build up our speed, and probably most importantly, to force us to slow down because that's generally where our most valuable practice happens. But today's video isn't about convincing you why you should be practicing with a metronome because most of you probably already believe you should be whether you actually do it or not. But today I wanna to share with you my new favorite practice tool and it's not just any old metronome, it's the Guitar Pro software. And it's not just the Guitar Pro software, it's a very specific feature within Guitar Pro, the Progressive Speed Trainer. This feature allows you to loop an entire song or smaller sections of your choice, and after each repetition, the playback will speed up by whatever percentage you select. I'm gonna show you what that looks like and walk you through all the details of this feature, but make sure you stay through the end of the video because we're gonna talk about why this is so game-changing for your practice. If you have Guitar Pro, feel free to follow along with me as I explain how this all works, but if you don't have Guitar Pro, I cannot recommend the software enough, not only for practice, as we're gonna see here, but for notating your arrangements or compositions I use Guitar Pro to notate every single one of my arrangements and then to practice them afterwards. Uh, and it has really become an invaluable tool for me. So once you've seen what it's capable of after watching this video, if you wanna check it out for yourself, I've included a link to their site in the description down below. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to purchase Guitar Pro after following the link, you don't pay any extra, but a small percentage comes back to me to help support the channel. All right, let me show you how awesome the Speed Trainer is. Let's say I just wanna practice these two particularly tricky measures. I can click and drag to select them, and now only those two measures will be looped. Before jumping in to the Speed Trainer, I recommend turning on a count in by toggling this hourglass icon up top here. Uh, that'll give you a full measure count in before playback starts to give you time to set up and to get the tempo in your ear. You should also then turn on the metronome by toggling this old school metronome icon here. And that'll just give you a clear metronome click on each beat throughout the playback to help you stay on track. Now to access the progressive speed trainer, you're gonna toggle this percentage indicator up here Okay, then click on the drop down menu and select custom values. Here, you'll select the progressive speed, and now we can customize a few parameters from here. The from slider controls the starting speed of your playback. So if you wanna start practicing nice and slow at half speed, for example, you're gonna drag this slider back to 50%. And then the two controls your goal tempo, right? So how fast do you want it to gradually speed up to? Leaving it at 100% means playback will stop speeding up once you get back to the original tempo of the song. I generally keep this at 100%, but a little practice tip here, it can be helpful to build up to speeds beyond the actual goal tempo of a piece, especially when you're preparing for a performance, because then when you bring it back down to the actual tempo, it's gonna feel that much easier. All right, this step percentage controls how much our playback will speed up 
after each repetition. So with all our current settings and with step at 10%, our playback will start at 50% speed and each repetition of our loop will increase in speed by 10% increments until we reach 100% speed. Now, I rarely keep this at 10%. To me, that's too big of a jump in speed and it defeats the purpose of a progressive speed trainer where we're trying to gradually speed things up. The goal here essentially is to trick your fingers into getting faster, so to speed up in increments that are barely noticeable. All right, so the highest I would go is maybe 5%, but I generally drop it all the way down to one to 2%. This accomplishes two things. Number one, a much more gradual increase in speed. Again, to the point that it's almost unnoticeable. And number two, you're getting in more repetitions. It's gonna take a lot more repetitions to get from 50% to 100% speed if you're only increasing by one to 5% increments than if you left it at 10%. And more repetitions at slower speeds means better and more solid muscle memory development. All right, last parameter here. Repeat controls how many times you want the section to loop before increasing in speed. So I usually keep this at one, so the speed increases after every repetition, but I can do that because I keep my step so low, again, at 5% or below. So the speed increase is very gradual. If you do bigger jumps in speed, you would need more repetitions and more practice at each increment before being ready for that next jump. Hit OK. You'll see your settings saved up in the menu here and you're ready to get practicing. Press the space bar to start playback. You'll hear your nice slow count in. Then you can start playing along with the music. And like clockwork here, we loop back to the beginning. And now up top here, you can see that our tempo has increased to 52% because we told it to increase by 2% each loop. And that's how I practice every single one of my arrangements, especially when isolating particularly tricky sections, speeding up by really small increments like this is so powerful and effective because again, you're essentially tricking your fingers into getting faster. It's gradual and it's progressive rather than shocking your fingers by these big jumps in speed. But why is this progressive speed trainer so game changing if at the end of the day, you can accomplish the same thing on any old metronome by just manually bumping up the speed after each repetition. I'll give you two reasons. Number one, it automates the metronome element of your practice so you can focus on the important things. I'm all about making my practice as efficient and focused as possible. So by automating my metronome and using the speed trainer to automatically speed up at a specific increment after each repetition, I eliminate the distraction and the time wasted by having to mess around with my metronome every few seconds doing it manually. That might seem like a small thing, but I think we all know how delicate our focus is and how easily broken it can be. So I wanna protect it at all costs and eliminate as many distractions as possible so that I can focus on what really matters, the notes that I'm playing and the technique that I'm using to play them. Number two, it eliminates choice. Each time you're ready to speed up your normal metronome manually, you have to make a choice. How much am I gonna speed up? Now, you might have made that initial choice up front like we did with the progressive speed trainer and said, I'm only gonna speed up by 2% or two BPM increments. But if that choice isn't automated, you have to essentially make that same choice over and over again every repetition each time you reach over to that metronome. And because we're human, it's generally just a matter of time before temptation gets too great and we make a bad choice, right? Let me just, let me bump up by 10 BPM this time. And we sped up by too much. This is an example of decision fatigue at work. 
Decision fatigue is a psychological phenomenon surrounding a person's ability or capacity to make decisions. And the theory is that a human's ability to make decisions can get worse after making many decisions as their brain will be more fatigued. This happens all the time, even at such a micro level in our guitar practice. So if you can automate good decisions, you'll have less opportunities to make bad decisions in moments of weakness. Now, if you're thinking this all sounds great, but the piece that you're trying to practice isn't available in a Guitar Pro format, maybe you're just working off of a physical copy of the sheet music or a PDF, here's a workaround so you can still use Guitar Pro's Speed Trainer. Open up Guitar Pro, create a new file, then you're gonna click this time signature icon over here and referencing whatever copy of the music that you've been working from, select the appropriate time signature to match, right? Then come down here and select this quarter note icon to set the goal tempo of the piece. If your music doesn't give you a tempo, you can tap a beat right here to set the tempo based on your ear, right? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, about 100 BPM. Okay, hit okay. Uh, then we can hit the right arrow key on our keyboard to create however many measures you want to loop based on the section you're practicing in your music. All right, so here we've got four measures. You could even do the whole piece, count out how many measures are in the piece if you want. You can always create more measures than you might need, then just click and drag to select how many measures you wanna loop. Then you just follow all the same steps that we went through before to set up your progressive speed trainer, right? We've got the count in, the metronome, I'm gonna click the percentage here, go down to custom values. Um, and then once you set that all up, those measures will loop speeding up at whatever increments that you set it to. Um, and you obviously won't hear the MIDI playback of your music like you would with a guitar profile, but you can still play along with your copy of the sheet music or tabs and just follow along to the sound of the metronome clicking away, right? And that my friend is my current favorite practice tool. It's enabled me to practice my arrangements as efficiently as possible, and I hope it's as effective for you. Again, if you wanna check out Guitar Pro and the Speed Trainer for yourself, I've linked it down below. And if you do, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget, if you wanna learn how to make your own classical or finger style guitar arrangements, check out my free training, Fretboard Freedom, where I teach you how to find and play chords anywhere on the fretboard. Go to beyondtheguitar.com or follow the link down below. Again, completely free. Make sure you subscribed with the notification bell on so you never miss future videos. Hit the like button to let me know if you enjoyed the video and to help the YouTube algorithm show it to more people. And as always, here's to making the music that you love and making it on your own terms. All right, we'll see you in the next one.